Hi, this is G. Scott Rakosi, and this is my Capstone Project. <laughs> My capstone project is based around the idea of learning how to not only create the sounds, music, and dialogue, but to be able to implement that all into a game utilizing middleware like WYS and FMOD. However, the problem with such programs is there's a steep learning curve. When you open up FMOD, it's literally a blank canvas that gives you little to nothing to work off. That is, of course, until you start clicking around and realizing, oh, the right clicking is your friend. WYS is also the same with this cumbersome menu and filing system. It looks like it was built by audio software engineers for audio software engineers. There are tutorials online and everything, but the best source I found was actually through an online course titled School of Video Game Audio, taught by Leonard Paul. It was a great start to dive into WYS. It taught me how to get sounds implemented, how to get events started, how to do a little bit of coding, and also grasp an understanding of how the pros make their sounds. So let's get started. So one of the biggest features I wanted to explore was learning to do more sound design. And this all ranged with weapons, items, and monsters. So I wanted to demonstrate firstly how to create monsters. To create the sound of a monster, I had to record myself. <gasps> then what I would do with the original recording is pitch it down a few semitones, probably even 12. This gave more body and growl. Next, I would add in some higher frequencies that were lost during the pitching process to give it an edgier sound. Shortly after that, I would apply a vocoder to offer a more noisier sound, in addition to some chorus effect. Then I would just go dig through my library of sounds, search for some potential animal like a lion or a bear, test out the sounds, see if I like them at all, maybe do some pitch variation, I don't know, anything. Then I would just plug them in and see how they worked. And of course this whole process is just teaching you how to layer sounds and make them sound cool. Then once it's all complete, we take the original sound and we make it sound like this. So I went and applied this to all the other monsters as well, and these are the results. In addition to monster sounds, I also had to make item sounds, emitters like teleporters, respawns of items, and even the occasional footstep to work within WIs. For example, the item respawn sound required four omnisphere settings and two sounds, one reverse with an automated tremolo effect. The teleporter sound was created using various chimes, the Valhalla Shiver plugin, six various synth programs from Logic Pro 10, and some swirly space sound to give it some motion. Now when you pass through the portal, there's a sound that tags along with that. Using various vacuums and turbines, this sound was created. The armor sound required five various sword unsheathing sound effects. 
and each one had different EQs and plugins to give them that extra shine. As for weapons, each one had various layers, highlighting the high, mid, and low frequencies to make the sounds have more action to them. Here are some examples. As for music in the game, I wanted to explore creating an ambiance when you began the game. Then when an enemy encountered you, the music would ramp up immediately. And then when you lost, another song would play. So currently right now what we're listening to is the ambiance theme. And this is just music that plays while there's no action going on, you're more just exploring your surroundings. The action cue is triggered when an enemy has spotted you, attacked you, or if you attack them. This gives the player a sense of anxiety and intensity. So at this point, you can either run or fight. Within the score are various moods that play throughout depending on the situation in the game. For example, the intensity can continue with variations. Or, if you're in the alert phase, the music will die down a bit, but still have that energy of suspense. Now if your character dies in the game, this cue is then triggered. Now all of these elements need to be placed into WI somehow, and those items need to be packaged in either a random container or a sequence container. An event then needs to be created and assigned so that when your character moves, the code in the game will trigger the footstep events. And then when the player shoots the shotgun, the code in the game will know what sound is defined by the event, shotgun blast. Interactive music is done in a similar way by utilizing real-time control parameters, or known as RTCP, which will either fade in or fade out music according to what's happening in the game. Now WISE isn't the only program to do this. Another resourceful middleware is FMOD. I've taken the liberty of learning the basics of how to get sound working, how to randomize sounds, how to play sounds within Unity, and even have an accompanying score to go along. I present to you my Viking Village demo. And this concludes my capstone project.